we're going to show the right click capabilities in QRadar. Uh, we have a log source here. Uh, this particular case is from I Apex Local Manager, but it, it can be from any source. And we identify an offending IP. In this particular case for our lab is simply 1.1.1.2. And by right clicking from the Curator console on that IP address, we will be sending uh, uh, a request to the XGS to actually quarantine any traffic that comes from that particular IP. In the Log Activity console, and we, we zoom in on this 1.1.1.2, uh, uh, we right click on it, and in the plugin option, we can generate that uh, IS. And P alert, and that's going to actually is telling us he's sending that command um, in this particular case to the XGS. Okay, so we're going to go to the XGS console now, and we are going to actually in the in the um, monitor tab, we click on it and select advanced threats events. And here in the console, we see that we have this uh, this uh, uh, alert from that the very same uh, IP 1.1.1.2, and a quarantine has been created automatically. So let's see how we we set this up. So we go to the policy configuration to to see the policy that make this happen, and we click on active quarantine rules. And in there, we have several rules. One of them is this one in particular for the for that uh, 1.1.2. And we actually gonna uh, look at the at the details of the of the actual policy. So we click on Advanced Threat Policy, and down here we have that uh, that particular policy that uh, quarantines a device, we're going to see that we quarantine that device uh, for an hour in order to allow us to investigate this further. If nothing is done, the, the event gets, uh, the traffic gets resumed. So here we see the actual details of it. We click on it and we're going to edit uh, to see that, that configuration. And in it, we see that uh, we quarantine the device for uh, for uh, one hour.